Well, Princess, we're not in Orlando anymore. No, we are at Six Flags over in Georgia. And welcome, patriots of the court. Let's go. Let's have some fun. I can say absolutely 100% I have never been to this park before. And what an entry. Wow, this is actually, this is actually kind of uh, nice, kind of nice. I think I know what I want to do first and I gotta find it. The plan was Twisted Cyclone, but 60 minutes post away time. So let's go and ride some of the lower wait time attractions. They have a terrific dark ride here, I hear. And uh, then we'll come back. We will be rope dropping tomorrow. I think that'll play out better. Rope, oh, yeah, there she is. This looks like fun, the Dalonega Mine Train. That was a Dalonega Mine Ride, an old Aero Mine Train. Uh, same manufacturer as Big Thunder, but very different from Big Thunder. And no, I have, I do not apologize for being a Florida snob. Here we are, the world famous, really, Monster Mansion. The exterior of Monster Mansion? No, Monster, whatever it is, yeah, definitely has the vibe. Although, yeah, we don't, we don't go in there. We, we go in like over there. It's Monster Mansion, the Monster Mansion. No you dang fools! This way! Stay out of the marsh! You guys, I found this here cabin! That was pretty awesome. Wow. All right. The thing is, it was great because there's lots of animatronics, but they have simple movement. So there was a, it was a very like I don't know fulfilling experience. Not like what Disney's been doing lately and spending all their money on like one big thing at the end, like the Shaman of Song. So that's why that is why Secret Life of Pets is so successful. Here it is, Goliath, a BNM hyper. I have heard a lot about. All right, that was Goliath. Okay, wow, that was Radley. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like I said, I do not apologize for being a spoiled snob, but uh, fun though. I think, uh, I think though we're done, but I uh, found something interesting. We got a tour of backstage? Yeah, backstage. Okay. This line here is not 20 minutes. No way, that's what it says in the app. But they are selling an evening five flash pass bundle for $29.99, I presume plus tax. Of course, politicians always have to get their cut and it works on like every ride. So I got that and it's good, well, it's good till nine, but I'll use them well before that and it's gonna work out really well. Regular flash pass today was $120. Wow. As for the ride, all right, so great layout, uh, lots of good airtime. The Helix at the end, or near the end, is pretty intense. There's a couple of uh, jarring bunny holes, bunny holes, bunny hops. Uh, back in there somewhere, but overall, yeah, I did not like it. Very, very shaky, meaning I, I don't want to ride it again. It was so bad. Again, I know I said this before, but I got to go and ride Kumba very, very soon because I don't remember him being anywhere uh, near that bad. And that's one of the originals, but we know where everything's better, so that might explain it. After that, I think we need a little bit of a respite on Joker's Funhouse Coaster, or maybe not. All right, the wait times in the Six Flags app are wrong. They're just flat out wrong. So I'm gonna head over to uh, Twisted Cyclone and use my next uh, flash pass. Well, this is really nice. At least it's not kudzu. Uh, reminds me of Bush Gardens, probably probably a popular spot during the uh, Fright Nights. All right, then here we go. Twisted Cyclone on flash pass. Twisted Cyclone, uh, very compact, very directive. It's like the ride is saying, no, we are going this way, we are going this way. Whereas Airy Force One was more like, all right, let's turn. Okay, well, let's do a roll. Okay, how about some hang time? That kind of thing. It is a much more compact layout, so understandable. They do get old, by the way. Airy is glossy smooth. This one is, uh, uh, it's been around the block a few thousand times, probably. All right, one thing, it's hard to get any shots of the, of the rides here because there's too many trees. 
For as busy as the park seems, operations are really slow. Each train is taking three to four minutes to dispatch. There's two train operations on Twisted Cyclone, but it, honestly, it doesn't matter. It takes so long to get the train out, the other one just sits there. So, uh, yeah, I don't know why they're bothering. Uh, Goliath is one train, and actually, it was about the same time. I have two hours to use three fast passes. At this point, I don't know if I'm going to, because even with the fast pass, you have to just wait and wait and wait. Okay, uh, man, <laughs> lightning lane. <laughs> 26 seconds, guys. The Crystal Pistol. All right, there's a joke in there somewhere. I wonder what they do in there. Uh, events? Cotillions? That kind of thing? I am here during Viva La Fiesta. I didn't notice it before, but now that I see the sign, I see the booths. But this is the only place I see anything next to uh, Macho Nacho. Here we are at Georgia Scorcher. Currently the longest wait in the park at 45 minutes. Wow, this is actually kind of perfect because change of plans that you didn't know about. This is a stand-up coaster, and next week I will be riding, finally, Pipeline the Surf Coaster at SeaWorld Orlando. Dates, I'm not good at dates. I'm not good at math, I'm not good at dates. It's a wonder, it's a wonder I have a job. The Georgia Scorcher, uh, put your feet to the fire. Well, that was not very comfortable. So I am going to call it one and done. I got front row. There was uh, some line cutting kerfuffle and they dumped the queue uh, for the whole ride and then let the fast passes in first. Fast passes, flash passes. I guess the station wait after the thing, which was like two minutes. So uh, yeah, actually, you know what? They can dump the queue and clear line cutters faster they can dispatch a train. How about that? Next up, Daredevil Dive School. I guess Six Flags, welcome to flight school. Alrighty then. They're experiencing technical delays and I bought a one-time flash pass for it. It was only $8, so whatever. I think uh, the green one, uh, I'm gonna call it Mindbender, but I know that's not it. It was half right. It is the Riddler Mindbender in Gotham City. It took a while to find this. The Riddler Mindbender. Buckle up, but you're not pulling down. Buckle up, but you're not pulling down. Okay, that was that was fun. Uh, much better than George Scorcher. Another old Schwarzkopf, but uh, a little bumpier than Scorpion. Must be that beautiful Florida weather, right? And uh, okay, pretty varied. The loops are pretty intense. I think this is back before they really knew how to do this. So uh, I did feel a little uh, jackhammering, I think they call it. Either way, um, this would be a one and done, or it is. I rode front row, which is good. It is a bit rough, so I'm gonna call it one and done, although super fun. I am uh, doing very well. I still have two now um, fast lanes because the one for apparently George's Scorcher didn't scan properly. Okay, I'm not gonna complain. And I have my one for flight deck. No, not flight deck. The flight school? No. <laughs> Goofy Sky School. Hopefully that's back online. But I think Superman. This will be my first Superman clone. Wait, is like two seconds, so I think that'll be good. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I, I deserve a spanking. It's my first Batman clone. Change of plans, surprise, surprise. What did I just say? The wait times are way unreliable. So I'm gonna go and use the fast pass, fast lane for the flight deck, flight school, then head over to Superman and the Screamer. All right, Batman, we shall meet again at Rope Drop tomorrow. I get it. I get it why the enthusiasts, they come and ride the roller coasters because a lot of them are just Flat rides, fun flat rides. Flat rides we've loved since we were kids, but I've ridden this, how many, 50 times probably? All right, all right, I, I have two, actually three fast lanes to use in an hour, and with operation so slow, that's actually a challenge. All right, let's calm down with some, uh, well, it's not a kerfuffle actually. Margaritaville is getting another renovation, yes. They are going into dry dock for a couple of weeks, like today, I think, and they'll be back June 2nd. Unfortunately, huh, Patriots of the Court, I will not be able to be on the first sailing because I, I currently have other plans. But, wow, it's been almost a month or over a month since I've uh, cruised, so uh, maybe that'll be a way to 
getting back into it. Well, you'll, you'll see what I'm gonna do. And uh, we still got a lot backed up. Wow, we still haven't finished Disney or Valiant Lady or Celebrity Silhouette. Oh, wow. All right, she is back online. Daredevil Flight School and another Gerslauer Eurofighter, like like the one monster at Adventureland. But I don't remember Monster being so uh, having so many positive G's, and uh, I don't like that. Uh, so, well, it's not I don't like it. It's just like it's not my favorite thing. All right, I have to decide whether I'm going to use uh, my one fast pass or use a fast pass on Batman or try to do try to use two at the back of the park because. The thing is, I can use one here, and then tomorrow, that took a half an hour, by the way. So, yeah, the, the flash and fast pass, or flash pass, not so flashy. Decision made. If I ride Batman now, I can use a flash pass, and I might finish in time to use one at the back of the park, and that means I only have the two at the back of the park tomorrow morning. So, yeah, that will that should work out a little bit better. Batman the ride. Okay, first Batman clone. All right. Okay, uh, fun. It's got all the great elements. I think, well, I don't know about this one, but there are parts that are nice and smooth, then there are parts that are pretty rattly, so I don't know if that's a thing with all of them or what. Now I have to go, I have, now I gotta go right in Montu. Or yes, I gotta go to Bush, gotta go to Bush. Wow, everything's at Bush Gardens. There is something missing because the things are so slow that I never hear anything go by. I have not heard Goliath once. The only time was when I was waiting for it. But you know what? I'm gonna give Six Flags huge props because everything is open. All the roller coasters have been open today, unlike Carowinds, when I think three never opened. So, all right, there you go. Good for Six Flags Over Georgia. And the park is beautiful. I'm gonna try and ride the Joker Funhouse coaster because that means the last three are all the way in the back of the park. And that is perfect, perfect for rope dropping. The velvet rope isn't up. We are in luck. Joker Funhouse coaster is surprisingly intense. It is not a kiddie coaster. I guess would be a uh, small family coaster, I, I think. I don't know, but uh, wow, that, that surprised even me. Fun, funner than I thought. And there's no line, so they were just doing re-rides, stay on the train. I went twice because it is time to head out. I know, all right. This actually went perfectly because I I used five fast passes because the, the one for George the Scorcher didn't scan. So I actually got five rides, so totally, totally cool. It would have been a bonus win. Not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna head toward the exit now, and park opens at 11 tomorrow, so I have plenty of time to rest. I don't have to like wake up super early. One, actually one benefit of not being at Walt Disney World. Okay, uh, now I gotta think about eating or something like that. I'm, I guess I'll just stop at I, fast food or something. I don't know, that's, wow, I haven't done that in a long time. Not really sure how that, how that works anymore. You can't see it on camera, but watch out for the level change. Yes, look at this. This is this is steep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the music covered the announcement. I wanted to hear him say, get out. Oh well. But plus one to six flags for having get out music. Wow, this is awesome. I love this music. This is this is epic. This is epic. They've they've earned almost all the points back. Anyway, that is our day here at Six Flags Over Georgia. Super over Georgia. Over Georgia. Super fun. I got more done than I thought I would, and a lot of it had to do with that that bonus fast flash pass after evening. No, after evening, whatever. So yeah, I got five rides. I skipped the queue for uh, Goliath and Twisted Timber. It's Twisted Timber. Twisted Cyclone and Batman and. Um, flight school, it's not called flight school. So yeah, that worked out really, really well. And uh, well, tomorrow I have three coasters to do and they're all in the same section of the park. So that's what you gotta do. <sighs> well, now I gotta think about getting something to eat, finding my uh, hotel, and then uh, going to sleep. So, well, you know what, something, well, there were problems today, but you know what? I'm not going to bother you with them because they were easily overcomable, just frustrating. So you know what? Whatever they were, I am thankful 
for those problems. So Disney, this is a tram. Remember those? This is Six Flags and they have a tram. 